Anil Redfern, uh, tough opening, probably 40 minutes or so, but Kim Roof's hat-trick will grab the headlines and leads in the end safely through to the next round. Yeah, I think the, the, the difference in quality and, and, and class told in the end. Um, I thought, to, to be fair to Newport, they gave a good account of themselves, certainly first half. Uh, you know, deserved to take the lead, if I'm honest. And, um, and, and Leeds were just towing a little bit first half, but second half... You know, Leeds started growing into the game, and I think with the advent of Alioski and Sayers coming off the bench, then um, they, they, they just blew Newport away in the end. Kimaru didn't really get involved in the opening 40 minutes, but came alive when probably Newport for the first time felt to clear their lines, and he was there, Fox in the box, tapped it in, and he grew from there. Absolutely, and it, you know, all, all his goals were like you know in and around that second six-yard box, um, kept his composure with all three finishes. And um, it'll do him the power of good. You know, I'm pleased for Kim Aruf because um, he's one of them that gives 110 percent every, you know, every week. He's played out of position a lot of the times, particularly last season. Um, and it was nice for him to play in his position where he, where he usually plays down the middle and, and get three goals, and uh, that'll do him the power of good. The third goal was a, a majestic finish. Ball slight over a kick, but what about the chip from the edge of the box? Hit the crossbar. That would have been fitting of a hat trick, wouldn't it? It would, and it was great awareness because he saw the keeper off his line, and he, and he was under pressure. There was bodies round him, but he still had the presence of mind to, to, to pick that chip and uh, it was desperately unlucky because the keeper was nowhere. Great performance all round at the other end. Rob Green will be disappointed with the goal he conceded but did make a couple of decent saves. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I feel a bit for Rob Green because he was outstanding last season for Leeds. I mean, he was one of the main reasons why they did ever so well and um, he's unlucky not to be in, in goal you know, regularly in the championship season but um, he got his chance tonight and obviously the goal was disappointing from his point of view but I thought he made two or three good saves in between that. He made one in particular before the goal which was um, definitely a goal saving uh, save. And uh, Kind of shocked me to see another impressive performance from him. He, he does the word impress. He continues to do that, doesn't he? Absolutely. I mean, I, he's just. I think he's built for the job. He's, he, you know, he's got good feet. He's obviously, you know, he's a midfield player by trade, but more than comfortable at centre half. And the one thing that impresses me for such a young lad is his, is his positional play and his decision making. Uh, he reads the game so well, and um, he's got a very bright future. And looking at Leeds, obviously, Sayers Alioski come on. Sayers adds a goal, and Vieira gets one at the end. There's no doubting when Leeds can get in the ascendancy in a game, they're going to threaten goal, aren't they? Oh, yeah. And, and, and I think the big thing as well is, particularly when the game starts getting stretched, you know, when the opposition start tiring, um, because what they are, the, the, the clever players, Alioski and Sayers, you know, some of his movement, Sayers, and, and Alioski's interplay between them is, is out of this top drawer. And, um, you know, they're, they're great acquisitions for the club. It is important, despite Roof's hat trick tonight, that Leeds do bring in reinforcements up top because they are going to face sterner tests than this, aren't they, in terms of defences? Oh, yeah. I mean, what they did tonight, to be fair, they, they, they gradually wore Newport down and, and, and they stuck at it and they, and they kept faith in what they were doing. And uh, you've got to take great credit for that. But, you know, it'll be a different kettle of fish on Saturday against Forest because they've had a good start and obviously they're up for it as well. And, you know, they'll be looking to sort of get the three points. But um, the way Leeds are playing at this moment in time, they keep it tight at the back, they don't give them too much away. Uh, and they're looking at a real threat going forward. And looking at Forest, then it'd be a perfect way to go then get a result to round off the opening part of the season before the break. Oh yeah, I mean it's, it, it's an absolutely fantastic start. Now, I mean you know unbeaten at this point, um, you know only only dropped two draws. You know it's it's a fantastic start. So they've just got to keep building on that. And what 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 is happening, which is really good as well, is that the, the overseas players or the new signings that have come in, they're starting to find their feet. They're getting used to life in the Championship. And they've been able to produce that quality, which is, um, is really making these an attacking force.